In this video, we're going to write a C program to convert some total number of inches to the equivalent number of feet and inches. So for example, we could express someone's height as 66 inches tall, but more typically, we would express their height as five feet, six inches tall. Now we can perform this conversion by taking the total number of inches and dividing it by 12. So for example, 66 divided by 12 would give us five, remainder six, because 12 goes into 66 five times. 12 times five would be 60. Then we would have six remainder. So here the quotient is the number of feet and the remainder is the number of inches. Now in C, we can use the integer division operation to give us the quotient. So 66 divided by 12 is going to give us five. The quotient, or in our case, the number of feet and the modulus operator is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So for example, 66 and then percent for modulus, 12 would give us six because the remainder of 66 divided by 12 is going to be six. So let's write a C program that first prompts the user for the total number of inches. Then we'll perform the conversion and present the results. Let's first declare variables to store these different numbers. We'll declare an int type variable called total inches to store the total number of inches and we'll initialize it to zero. Then we'll declare an int type variable called inches to store the converted inches value and we'll initialize it to zero. Then we'll do the same thing with feet with int feet is equal to zero. Then we'll prompt the user to enter the total number of inches. So we'll have printf and then enter total inches to prompt the user. Then we'll use scanf to store the value the user enters into the total inches variable. So we'll have scanf and percent %d inside a string to accept an int value. Then we'll have and total inches. And this will store the int value the user enters into the total inches variable. Then we'll check to make sure the total inches value is greater than or equal to zero because we're not going to work with negative heights. So we'll have here if total inches is greater than or equal to zero. Then we're going to perform the conversion. Otherwise, we'll have an else case. And in that case, we'll put an error message. We'll have printf and then must enter total inches greater than or equal to zero. Then up here, if the total inches is greater than or equal to zero, we'll perform the conversion. So we'll have feet is equal to total inches divided by 12 to give us the quotient or the total number of feet. Then we'll have inches is equal to total inches modulus 12 to give us the remainder or the remaining inches. Then we'll output the result. So we'll have printf and then percent %d to output an int value followed by feet followed by percent %d to output another int value and then inches and backslash n for new line and we'll output feet and then inches. And then if we save compile and run the program and enter in, let's say 66 inches, we'll get here five feet, six inches, which is correct. So this is how we can convert some total number of inches to the equivalent number of inches and feet using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.